Hi everyone, I'm Isan. Today we'll check out the new features in iOS 18 and how to set them up on your iPhone. Let's get started and see what's new in iOS 18. The first new feature in iOS 18 is the ability to move icons on the home screen more freely. You can place them wherever you want without making the icons automatically move to the top area. So now you can move icons to any spot on the home screen more freely and easily. Then a new feature introduced in iOS 18 is the new animation that appears on the screen when you press physical buttons. This adds a visual effect that enhances the interaction with your iPhone. When you press buttons like the volume or power buttons, you'll see a smooth animation on the screen. It's a small but noticeable improvement that makes using your iPhone feel more responsive. Then in the latest iOS 18, you can now customize the colors of all icons to match your chosen theme or wallpaper using a color picker. This feature allows you to personalize your iPhone even more by selecting colors that complement your chosen theme or wallpaper. Here there is also an option to set the icon colors for dark mode. And there's also an automatic setting that will change the icon colors to dark mode only when dark mode is activated. What's interesting here is once you've changed the icon colors or selected dark mode icon appearance, you can also adjust the wallpaper brightness option by tapping the sun icon in the top left corner. So the wallpaper will instantly appear dimmer and slightly darker than usual. Apart from adjusting various aspects like color and brightness of icons, you can also directly change the appearance of icons on the home screen to be slightly larger than usual. In this setting, you can simply choose the large option, and the icons will immediately appear a bit larger than before. Here the text labels under the icons will also be removed after selecting this larger icon display option. Next in the latest iOS 18 version, there is an option to adjust the size of widgets on the iPhone home screen. You can directly resize widgets by tapping and holding in an empty area on the home screen. Then drag the right edge of the widget to adjust its size. In addition to adjusting widget size this way, you can also resize widgets by tapping and holding on the widget itself. Then choose the widget size option you prefer. In this menu, you'll see various widget sizes available based on the app. You can select sizes ranging from just the icon size, which is the smallest, to square or rectangle widget sizes, depending on what you want to display on the home screen. Then in iOS 18, there is a new feature that allows you to customize the app shortcuts on the lock screen located at the bottom left and right corners. Unlike previous iOS versions where these shortcuts were fixed for flashlight and camera, now you have the flexibility to change them to different shortcuts. To change this shortcut, simply follow the same steps as customizing the lock screen. You can tap and hold on the lock screen and select customize and the button. Then choose lock screen. From there, you can remove the current shortcut by tapping the minus icon and add a new one by tapping the plus sign. And then select a new shortcut. This feature makes it easier to access your preferred apps directly from the lock screen. Next, there is an interesting new feature in the redesigned control center of iOS 18. This updated interface not only includes customizable pages that you can rearrange, but also offers option to adjust the size of icons within the control center. Now you can customize the size of icons in the control center to be smaller or larger according to your preference. There are several size options available to suit how you want them to appear. You can also add a new control center pages to separate settings from the main control center, allowing you to organize and access different controls more efficiently. Next, there is also a small yet interesting change in the latest iOS 18 when you activate the flashlight on the iPhone. Now when you turn on the flashlight on the iPhone, below the dynamic island position there is a setting for the flashlight where you can adjust the brightness level and the spread of the light. To adjust these settings, simply swipe left or right to control the spread of the light and swipe up or down to adjust the brightness of the flashlight. If you don't interact with this setting for a while while the flashlight is still on, the settings will automatically transition into the dynamic island area. You can easily access these settings again by tapping on the dynamic island area while the flashlight is on. To turn off the flashlight, you can also tap directly on the center image in this new floating display. Another highly anticipated feature in the latest iOS 18 update is the ability to lock apps using Face ID or a passcode directly from your iPhone. In the latest iOS 18 update, you can now easily lock various apps on your iPhone. 
You can do it by simply press and hold on the app icon that you want to lock. Then select Require Face ID and then tap Require Face ID. By choosing this option, the selected app will be locked and cannot be accessed without unlocking it first using Face ID or entering a passcode. This is one of the most important and useful features in iOS 18 that you should definitely know about and consider activating on your iPhone. Another intriguing feature is the ability not only to lock app access, but also to hide their icons from appearing anywhere on the screen. This ensures that the names of the locked app remain unknown to others. The process is similar to before. You can simply select the app icon you want to lock and hide, then choose Require Face ID and select Hide and Require Face ID. By selecting this option, the app is not only secured with Face ID and passcode, but its icon is also hidden and won't appear on the home screen or in the app library. To access the lock app, you need to open a hidden folder that appears at the bottom of the app library. You can tap on the folder named Hidden and unlock it using Face ID. The hidden app icons will then be visible in this folder. To unlock the app and restore its icon and access to normal, you can press and hold the app icon within the hidden folder, then select Don't Require Face ID. Then the app will return to its regular state as before without requiring Face ID to open it. And then to check out more interesting features and settings for your iPhone, you can tap on the video that appears on your screen. Hope you find this video helpful. See you in the next one.